out of the water. No, don't, no, don't do that. Whatever you do, do not ring him and do not text him. No. Look, I'll tell you what to do. Come round here. I'll give you something to eat. You'll feel a lot better. OK, come now. I think you may have got the picture there. Sobbing girlfriend on the phone. And a small bit of tea and sympathy is required. But I think an express batch of chocolate chip cookies will administer all the comfort that's required. Better go out and get the supplies before she comes round. We'll be needing a nice cup of tea, of course. Oh, and I want some cocoa. Everything else for the cookies I've got at home. Oh, no. There is one other thing I'll be needing. From the sound of her on the phone, I'll be needing this box of tissues. So she's looked after, and I've got a short burst of therapeutic baking. that you can buy perfectly decent, sometimes even good, chocolate biscuits or chocolate cookies from shops. But until you've had these totally chocolate, chocolate chip cookies, you don't know what one can be like. I have to say, they can make strong men and women weep with gratitude. And they are they're quite good, though I say it myself, at mopping up tears as well. I'm going to let the bowl of chocolate melt over the gently simmering water while I get on... For the rest of the biscuits, I've got 125 grams of soft, unsalted butter. And I want another 125 grams but of sugar. And I'm splitting that up into 75 grams of soft, light brown sugar for fudginess. And 50 grams of regular sugar. And while that's mixing, I shall get on with the dry ingredients. I need 150 grams of plain flour, 30 grams of cocoa, a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Don't heap it, otherwise you'll get a bit of soapiness. And half a teaspoon of salt. This is the only time, really, I use the free-flowing salt. That is gorgeous, glossy and melted. So let's take it out now. It can cool for a sec. bit of vanilla, about a teaspoon, quite a lot really, into the butter and sugar. And now I'm going to scrape this molten lake of chocolate into the creamed sugar and butter. Mm. And now a sprint to the fridge. It's the only exercise you'll ever see me taking. And one cold egg. Just crack it in. Now, this is quite odd for baking, when normally you have everything at room temperature. But I was given this recipe by someone who is a complete chocolate fiend, Eleanor Clivens, and she told me to use an ice-cold egg. That's how I do it, I'm told. And these are perfect. And now I'm going to tip in the dry ingredients. Now, you might think that was it, and it is really, except for... Two whole packets of chocolate chips. In they go. Just mix by hand, there's no need to get the heavy machinery out. I love the clattery noise that they make as you mix them into the batter. Now, I agree that to some people, using half a kilo of chocolate to make 12 biscuits may seem excessive. But I can tell you, I don't put a price on alleviating human suffering. I dip an ice cream scoop in so, rather like bricklaying, I smooth out the top and then release each mounded cookie in the tin. 
I get 12 exactly out of this amount. But what I do is I bake six instantly. And for those periods of unforetold stress that lie ahead, I have six of them squirreled away in the deep freeze to administer instant comfort. So into the freezer with this lot. Oven with those. It's 170 degrees and they need 18 minutes, by which time I will be ready to administer top class comfort. I'm not going to say anything. You know what I thought of him. Anyway, these do all the talking you need. Thank you. Mm. No, you're right, you know. He wasn't right, but they're definitely right for me. <laughs> they are, aren't mm. they?